Hello and welcome to the final game of the Triple Tap Tex Visual Impaired Gaming stream this Wednesday evening. Uh, we run these streams every Wednesday from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock and we tend to go over sort of um, civic games and that that we can play from uh, sort of as being a visual impaired gamer. I'm your host for uh, this evening, I'm Wine Ninja 1704 otherwise known as Fraser and I am the chairman of Triple Tap Tech. So at Triple Tap Tech we provide advice, help, support and training to anyone with a visual impairment and accessing all forms of technology. So basically everything from listening to an audiobook using sort of a USB drive all the way through to smart speakers and the latest and greatest smartphones, tablets, computers and sort of MacBooks. We even provide sort of help and support with bespoke pieces of technology that have been specifically designed for people with a visual impairment. Now you can find out a lot more about us on our website at tripletaptech.com Org. So this evening we started off going back almost 30 years and playing uh, Final Fantasy 4. Uh, then we then moved on to Final Fantasy 5, which to be honest it just wasn't one to play ball shall we say. So we then moved on to Final Fantasy 7, which worked pretty well. Done Final Fantasy 10, that sort of worked without a hitch. Went on to Final Fantasy 13 and Twitch just wasn't uh, for accepting that for some reason. So now we've moved on to our last game of the evening, which is Final Fantasy 15. So Final Fantasy 15 is sort of the latest addition uh, to the Final Fantasy franchise. It came out in 2016, so it's still it's still sort of four, four or five years old. So it's not the newest of games. Um, Probably the only sort of newer games that have came out after this has been the Final Fantasy VII sort of remake that's on available for sort of the PlayStation. But this is still a pretty good game on its own sort of right. So what we'll do is we'll start with a new game and we'll just sort of walk through it. See if it works. So the game setup that I've got this on is it's touched on my sort of gaming PC. We are running it on a 32 inch monitor. It's 4K capable. I think I might be running this in 4K, I'm not too sure but we can sort of check that out in the settings. And then I'm sitting about two to three feet away from the monitor at my, sorry, my office desk. I'm using a PlayStation 4 uh, control pad connected to the computer uh, via USB. As I find that just gives it a much more stable sort of connection than sort of the Bluetooth one. And as with sort of all Final Fantasy games, we've got a wee bit of story to get through before we can actually get into the world of playing the game. See, even compared to sort of Final Fantasy 10, 
there's a lot more going on on the screen. I can find it quite difficult to try and keep track of exactly what's happening on the, uh, on the screen. This is sort of like white cards on that. And it's really just a matter of perseverance with it. The what I've also is done is with the setup in my monitor, Set I've changed the Chris settings Knox. on the monitor so that it displays a grayscale yeah. image on you the imagine. monitor screen. So basically it takes all the Take colour away and, and that can make it a wee bit cards. easier for me to try and see right. what's going on on the screen. So as you should all know sorry, by now, the way that I see the world round about me is shapes and shadows. So the best way to describe it is why you're walking through a steaming mirror in the bathroom. So I can see the outline of things, but I can't see any details. So if I'm looking well, at somebody's face, well, I can see the sort of shape of their so face, more, but I can't see if they're wearing glasses, got a moustache, beard, etc. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great so burden going back. This was uh, the game that put me back <laughs> into playing the Final Fantasy series of I games. Not that you guide um, my I've got this game PC around uh, Easter time. time. Last year, um, especially with the we'll COVID-19 the situation, we were all sort of heading into lockdown, so I had to find something to, to sort of keep me amused. So I thought we'd go, go into sort of um, gaming. And another thing. So I bought myself oh a my decent sort of gaming PC, and this was one of the first games that I got from it. And I must have spent well. near enough 50, 60 hours easily. So I'm playing you through no cause for concern, it. Nor do you. So I've gone back to the start of the year, so it's like a wee trip. So it's a down memory of going. But let's hope that this year's going to work out quite a bit better than sort of last year did. I don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. Just waiting for the uh, game to start. Well, I done the first time, so I played this game. I had it saved to the SSD on the computer, so own times were sort of really, really fast. However, sort of on this computer, it's only 512 gigabytes that's on it. So for sort of tonight's one, I just saved it to the standard sort of hard disk that's on it. That's why it's taking so long to load. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. Well, you're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You'll get out. Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Jeez. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Push!
there. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? So this way, really Hello, grateful for all you said and watching us now. Uh, if you yeah, could sub subscribe, just, yeah. uh, like, and share. There's also the Wine Ninja 1704 so Twitch <laughs> channel you with all these sort of friends, a family, work mates, etc. Just to sort of get Sin. out there the information Sin's that we're sort of trying to put out about sort of visually impaired gaming. It'd be also be really great if you yeah, could you help yeah. over to YouTube and there some yeah search for Boy Ninja 1704 and do the same there why subscribe share with everyone that you know about the Boy Ninja 1704 uh, yeah. YouTube channel on that channel Brilliant. we Magic have sort of walked through of how to change settings and make games more accessible for people with sun. low and no and vision and we also sort of publish our Twitter, oh, sort of the, the decent ones, the ones that work out, Twitch streams there too. Y'all get her in and roll on. If you want to find out more sort of about accessible gaming, uh, if you go to tripletaptech.org forward slash accessible gaming, there you can um, so you get reviews on no, games, walkthroughs how to make certain games uh, accessible to yeah, people really with vision, uh, different um, sort of equipment and peripherals for gaming to make things a wee bit easier. And what we'd also like uh, sort of the VI gaming community to do as well, what would be great, is if you oh, could write... Hey there, Grants! We'll be called back. If you could write never been out this way sort of views on games that Go you're on, playing and what you do to make, make them sure accessible, we will sort of gladly publish them on our website. That's tripletaptech.org. I might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! Have they got Ebony out here? Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. Hey, I had it! Appreciated. A moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I see we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Okay. I see one of the things to do like this game is the fact that the so the first uh, 
two thirds of the game is pretty much just open world. You can sort of do do what you like and go where Looks like we found like. our first targets. Ready knocked. So anyway, you get near sort of the end of the game. Go and find some more beasties. Seems like dodging about the screen where so, uh, Where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we have a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Some Dave guy that's just he went missing. You're not just not maybe said he's fixing that shit. Wait, that's quite so we are going back to the start of this game. So every sort of Wednesday night from seven o'clock to ten o'clock we run What's this? the visual impaired gaming stream on Twitch. And we're sort of what to create content. Whoops, I do. And create content that you, that you are wanting. That's so there's any sort of games you'd like us to feature on the accessible game stream. Just let us know. You can send an email to the website at www.tapptech.com. And on we go. Yep. Hey, what about the shack over there? Okay. So, what, if you send sort of games you want us to focus on, just uh, say send us an email to tapptech.org, or even if there's any sort of genre of game you'd like us to spend sort of an evening going over. So it could be like we're doing tonight with the Final Fantasy series of game. Oh, it could be sort of Not racing yet. games, first-person shooters, etc. 
etc. It'll be kind of easy enough to walk into that and sort of produce that. Huh, what are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting yeah. game from the safety and comfort of lions. That's a bit heartless. Yeah. Don't think we'll be friendly. Get back. I did tell you way back at the start when we played Final Fantasy IV that that trojan will be lodged in your head been looking for, for you. weeks at least. Yeah. And didn't mean to cause you all any trouble. Yeah. I'm getting stuck here on account of a sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about that varmint. I gave him hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, we all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Sure, we'll do it. <laughs> for the right price. Well, you all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw. Phew. For a second I thought you were gonna forget to ask for cash. It would be wise to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crown's Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made him especially for us. You even got a sweet insignia on him. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. And here we are. Let's call it a day. All right. So it's a matter of quick walking attacked. forward. To Final Fantasy so it's 16 coming out, and also really looking forward to uh, the next part of the Final Fantasy 7 remake. So now I need to get my hands on a PlayStation 5 first of all. So Sony, if you're sort of out there listening to these streams and want to help a visual impaired gamer out, right, just send a PlayStation 5 to Triple Tap Tech. At well, our details can be found on then on our website. I see you square. Send us one. Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. No, okay. All things considered, I'd say she's going to find this wee beast. Like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and sit. Stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car, and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car.
<sighs> Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. <laughs> so some of the things you can do to sort of try and help make um, sort of games running on the PC a wee bit more sort of easy and comfortable from a visual impaired perspective. Uh, so that you can always try reducing the resolution that's displayed on the screen. Well, that's half, that's all that I have the benefit of making. Over there. That's it, right? Uh -huh. There we go. Of making um, yes, sort of things appear uh, a wee bit sort of larger on the screen. That's my quick work. But it can also help uh, sort of increase the frame rate. And again, there, that can make it a wee bit easier. Wait a second. Uh, what? To sort of work. Scared, big guy? You wanna be too? Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> Shamu's blood! Nice one! It's not over yet! <laughs> Ready for round two. It's time. Bring it! Game's up. Nothing to it. Well, that was right, Weezer. Oh. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken? Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. Go. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Edna should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room and back. I guess we return back to Hammerhead. Hmm. So it's kind of helpful, it's a big orange square metal of the screen that so it tells you the right direction you go to in this open world that just make it a lot easier to know where you need to be going it's only so far a man can walk our crown city upbringing didn't prepare us for this <sighs> pretend you're walking to the car Yeah, I would definitely sort of recommend getting into the sort of Final Fantasy games, uh, especially if it's sort of your first sort of foray into visual impaired gaming. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. <coughs> As they're sort of available on sort of all consoles, so you can choose what you want to sort of play them on. Uh, you can get sort of Final Fantasy games on the PlayStation. They're on the, some of them on the Game Pass on the Xbox now. Uh, you can also get them on Nintendo Switch. You can't sort of get Final Fantasy uh, sort of 15 that on Nintendo Switch, but you can get the older ones such as Final Fantasy uh, 7 to 10. And again, you can also get them on the PC. So I think you can get from 3 to 15 on Steam. What else you can do if you're sort of tech savvy, you can also get them on sort of your retro gaming system. 
such as uh, Retro Pie and Recall Cast. And there you can actually get the original games from sort of Final Fantasy 1 all the way up to probably I think the, the next one that the system would run will be Final Fantasy 9. Because they're designed for sort of retro gaming. And maybe that's something that we could sort of work into doing um, sort of for another one of our streaming nights. Is there any ideas you have for streaming that? Just let us know at triple tap tech dot org. I say we take a break. It works for me. Sorry about the wait. You coming or Ain't what? She pretty. She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. No garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Oh, I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. So one thing you seem to do in the Final Fantasy is that you spend a war or a day on the game. I'm sure you'll be glad game. to look after your car. So oh, right. So, from that's what this place is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Uh, uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. That's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. I think it was so Final Fantasy XV, that's went quite a way away from it. It's from Japanese origins. It stuff. It feels quite oh, so Americanized. The dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. I 
nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. That's what thing want to stick me, so I wonder about you. There's more dangerous things prowling about these days. Welcome to the crow's nest. What would you like? So what would you like to know? sort of finish up for tonight's talk in a couple of minutes. It's time. Gladio, come on! Gotcha. So, uh, you think in the fairy tale, Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, uh, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. Messing with some teams. Hey, it's like a big there stuck in this world, does. Agnes's cooking really is a class above. You reckon? Well, what, you don't think so? Seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> to royalty, maybe. To us plebes, it's anything but.
April, so I think we'll stop when the game there, so that's almost 10 o'clock tonight. But thank you everyone for uh, watching um, Triple Taps Tech Visual, uh, Visual Impaired Gaming Stream uh, live on Twitch. Uh, join us next Wednesday evening where we'll be doing sort of more games going over and um, sort of how to make them accessible, just sort of me playing them as a Visual Impaired Gamer. Again there, if you can go and check out our website at tripletaptech.org we have a whole host of different sort of guides and resources there in order to sort of help you out when it comes to visual impaired gaming and accessible gaming and sort of technology when it comes to a visual impairment in general. Uh, if you could like, subscribe and share both this channel and our YouTube channel, that would be doing us a big favour. And again there, tell everyone you know about sort of triple tap tech we're here to help and we're sort of happy to do so so i've been your host tonight by ninja 1704 otherwise known as fraser thank you very much for watching and i look forward to chatting to you all next week take care cheerio bye